Hopefully you can hear me now. I think that's better. There we go. Hello, everyone. As I was just saying, although no one could actually hear me, this is my first time ever streaming a PC game on Twitch, so hopefully everything goes okay. I did have to do a little weird stuff to get the controller to work on here, because I don't think this game was made for a controller originally. Anyway, this is KO the Kangaroo. This is the first game in the series. And I should say right at the start of this, before we get into the games, that these were all sent over to me by the uh, publisher, or the developer. So, thank you so much for that. And I've never played any of these games before, so I'm really interested to see what they're all like. So, uh, the only thing that I actually know about the KO games is from what I saw of Nitro Rad's video reviews on the series. And he seemed to quite enjoy them. He especially liked the fact that his head stretches like this when you go in the water. Which, yeah, is a really nice touch. And apparently the first game is very straightforward. Just a Crash Bandicoot style linear platformer, I guess you could even call it. And then the second one is a bit more open world. And the third one is just more of the same as far as I'm aware. And there is also a new one that's just come out on Steam and consoles and I'll be getting a code for that one at some point in the future when the DLC comes out. You bought Banana Mania because of me, that's awesome. Shame they didn't quite get the physics right on that game, but yeah, it's good. I hope they do more. I would love to see a brand new entry in the series. So, what am I thinking about this game so far? I don't really know what I'm collecting, why I'm collecting all these coins. There doesn't seem to be any reason for them. There seems to be little mounds of dirt that I can break open. Kid Ludens, hello. Two first time chatters today. That's cool to see some new people here. Let's see what's going on here. It's just like a special stage area. This is very much like Crash Bandicoot. Except it's a little bit slower and with a weird camera that turns very fast as soon as you move. Let me know everyone watching, have any of you played any of the KO the Kangaroo games in the past? Do you have any childhood nostalgia for them? This is one of the free games on Epic. Oh cool. Well I think the new one might be. They've just re-released the original three games on Steam. Uh, that's why I'm playing these, because they just came out today, I think, and the developer sent me some Steam codes to try them out, so this is my first time ever playing any of the KO games. This one originally came out with Dreamcast, I believe. And it seems okay. It's very basic. I'm not a big fan of the way the camera spins around completely every time you move. And it doesn't seem like there's any jump or anything. Oh yeah, there is a special attack. Hey, to the gates, resubbed, thank you so much. I can't believe it's been, have I really been doing this for 10 months since I became affiliate? Wow, the time has flown, honestly. That's crazy, but thank you. You've never heard of the series before. Um, I don't think it was that popular, really. There was one on the GameCube. The second one was on the GameCube and PS2. This one here was on the Dreamcast originally, and weirdly the third one was only a PC release, um, but only in... Oh, I can get past today. Um, only in Poland, I think, which is a very strange, specific release. I'm not sure what the question mark is there. Oh yeah, something else about this game that I learnt from Nitro Rad's videos is that you actually have to manually place the checkpoints down in the level. Okay, interesting. We've got an interesting map screen here. And how do we get to the next level? Got to press enter. You really like my YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. I want to try and do more collecting style videos because I feel like recently it's all been a lot of new stuff, a lot of homebrew stuff and a lot of indie games and I want to kind of move away from that a little bit to cover the more retro side of things. 
to actually go back to you know why I started the channel in the first place, which is talking about games that I enjoyed or games that I want to collect. So hopefully you're you're into that kind of stuff, and I'll be doing more videos on that sort of lines soon. Because I do feel like I've strayed a little bit from the original premise of what the channel was meant to be. Ha! <laughs> Ultima 4, yeah. I was tidying my room up and I saw it over on the shelf in the corner. We need to play that at some point. <clears throat> I also want to play the first Fantasy Star at some point on the Master System as well. And there's a there's actually a really cool RPG version of... Um, What's that Mega Drive game? The, the Mega Drive beat em up, where you play as. Not Altered Beast. It's the other one, where you get to ride on the back of like a dinosaur. And there's, um, there's a dwarf called Gilius Thunderhead. What's that game called? Golden Axe! There's an RPG version of Golden Axe, which was exclusive to the Sega Master System. Yeah, Golden Axe. Yeah, it's like a Zelda clone, and it only came out on the Master System, even though it came out after the Mega Drive game. Which is really interesting. Golden Axe Warrior, I think it was called. So I want to try and find that at some point. That'd be a really cool game to check out. I don't think there was any Double Dragon on the Master System. I don't know where I'm meant to be going. All these paths just lead to a dead end. Am I meant to be going up here? Okay, yeah, okay, go this way. Follow the giant arrow that I ignored. There's no double jump or anything, so... I guess, maybe is that a kind of double jump? Very slightly. I'll use it anyway, just to be, just to be safe. Die. Oh yeah, I do have a special attack where I can throw my fist, but as you can see, they're very limited use things. You have to pick up these gloves. There we go, so I can do that once more. I'll save that for a boss, if there is one. I'm very interested to see what the second game's like as well, apparently. It's quite different to this one. But I'm having fun so far. It is very simple, but, you know, for the time, I think 98, maybe. Seems like it's pretty good. I don't think I've even played a Double Dragon game, at least not for any reasonable amount of time. I may have played one for a few minutes on an emulator or something. I want to play the um, Battletoads and Double Dragon crossover at some point. Yeah, yeah, I managed to get over there. Right. Now we're going into another special stage. Whoa, that went way too fast. I couldn't read anything. Okay, I've got power up to make me go a little bit faster. Cool. I should really try and pick up the Dreamcast version of this. I don't know why I don't have it already. It doesn't really seem like there's any challenge though, in this game so far at least. I say as I get hit. But yeah, very, very simple. Maybe it's good as like my first 3D platformer. Maybe that was what they were going for. It doesn't really feel as much of a uh, Crash Bandicoot clone as I thought it would. Everything that I'd read and heard about this game made it sound just like a complete clone of Crash, but it's not really. Never owned a Sega console before you were a Nintendo kid back in the 90s. Well, Refault's on the N64 as well, so you could have always played it that way. I love Refault. That's one of my favourite games on the Dreamcast, actually. And the fact that it has a level editor as well, just the icing on the cake. I loved making my own stages in Refault. I've probably got a UMD full of custom levels for that game. So good. Here is this some sort of special lever? Okay, I thought I might have done that. <clears throat> I, uh, it kind of reminds me of Croc more than Crash Bandicoot. Does anyone play Croc? Legend of the Gobbos.
Or maybe like a really basic version of Banjo Kazooie. Huh. This even sounds like Banjo Kazooie. Yay, someone else who's a fan of Crack. Whoa. Now it's like Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, if they, if this was a bit more polished, I think it would actually feel a lot like a game that Rare would make. I wonder what came out first. Maybe they got some inspiration from it. But I'm enjoying this so far. It's actually better than I thought it would be. I didn't really know what to expect other than the a Crash Bandicoot clone. Oh, there's a, there's an interesting story with Croc actually. The the developers Argonaut Software, I think they're called. They actually originally made Croc as a Yoshi game, um, and they pitched it to Nintendo, but Nintendo turned them down. So they changed the character to Croc and turned it into its own game, basically. But yeah, at one point it was supposed to be a Yoshi, a 3D Yoshi platformer. So that's why, that's why it resembles Yoshi. Oh my god, that corner there. The music's cool, but it doesn't quite fit the level. Oh, there is a way to slow down. Okay. If I hold back. Let's see if that will help us out here. I wonder whether if, if I slow down too much crash or something. Or, you know, go into the lava. This kind of reminds me of one of the minigame areas in uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Let's go a little bit faster. We can go a bit faster. Okay, watch out. Go straight through there. Yay, we made it! I don't get why it's got, like, weird circus music, though. Okay, slow down again. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this now. I remember in Nitro Red's video, he complained about these sections because they're all one-hit kill areas. Oh, I can break them. Cool. Anything in there? There was something in there. Oh, the flags, yeah. So if you press select, you can put a flag down and that basically turns it into a checkpoint. So if I die now, I should be, I should be restarted there. What was that? Did that just make me fall over? Why? Point. Oh yeah, there's two different attacks as well. You've got your punch, or you've got your tail whip. And I haven't got one at the minute, but if I press Y, you can throw your glove in the air as well. Yeah, this is definitely giving me crop vibes more than anything. Which is definitely a good thing. Leah, Leah Brianna, how are you enjoying KO? I love the new one. I'm enjoying it so far. Obviously, it's very simplistic. But I like 3D platformers. I'm having fun with this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have destroyed that. I think that was that was the answer to the puzzle. Oh no. Oh no. I think I'm trapped here now. I destroyed the. Oh, did I get it? Hey, we did it. The wavy backgrounds really throw me off. Kind of weird psychedelic backgrounds. Big in 3D platformers too. Oh, weird. Okay. The controls are reversed here. That's going to take some getting used to. Okay. Oh, do I need to go through that gate? Will that give me, like, super speed or something? I think I missed a comment there. Maybe if it one hit killed to stop it being too easy. Maybe. I mean, the area wasn't that difficult to get through, so I'm not complaining about it being a one hit kill. How's the sound levels, by the way? I've not streamed a PC game before, so... Can you hear me over the game okay, or is it a bit too loud? Um, any upcoming games I'm looking forward to? Well, Zelda, obviously. I think everyone in the world's looking forward to Zelda. Is that the right order? The game's a bit too loud. How about that? Is that better? Thanks for letting me know, because I've got no way of telling on the stream. 
whether the sounds are right or not. Are there any games that you guys are looking forward to? Um, okay, apparently you don't go through that. Not quite sure what to do here then. Do I have to jump over it? Not sure what the point of that gate is then. Uh, my backlog's insane. I've been thinking about doing a podcast episode on how I, I how I'm planning to attempt to tackle my backlog anyway, because I do want to go back and play some games um, that I've been meaning to play for a long time. And the good news is, after the next two videos, I don't have any more videos planned for other people, so I don't need to worry about doing any sort of sponsored content or anything. So I might actually take some time for myself and just play some games that I've been meaning to play for a long time. Right, what am I meant to be doing here? I can't go any faster. Yeah, Dragonborn DX is coming out soon. Have you seen my review on the original game? I enjoyed it, although there's some really annoying sections, so I hope they've ironed them out. At least a little bit. Oh, excellent. That was one of my first homebrew reviews, I think. Right, I'm gonna... I've still got one more checkpoint to put down, so I'm gonna put the checkpoint down after, after this. Here? Okay, we're good. Now, what are we meant to do? Oh my god, what do you think I need to do to get past this annoying spiky stick thing? If I go through there, it just kills me. I'm completely stumped, I can't jump over it, I can't go underneath it. can't go through that gate. Is that going to help me speed up? Oh! It's gone up into the ceiling. Okay, I just needed to hit the question mark thing. I'm the only person playing KO on Twitch. Maybe they're playing the new one though, because I couldn't find the right category for this one. Maybe I'll get some new viewers if I'm the only person doing it. I'm not really that bothered about growing my Twitch though. This is just something completely for fun, just to relax. And The idea was at least to just use it to play games that I hadn't played before or to record footage for videos that I'm working on. But I do really enjoy it as well, so thanks for coming to watch. At least I've got someone to talk to. Oh no, I missed one of the coins. I've even been considering streaming some RPGs, but I don't know whether people would have the patience to watch me play an RPG, because I do want to try and tackle my backlog in the future. Yay, I did it! And there's a whole bunch of RPGs that I want to, uh, I want to try and play through. Yeah, I don't know where, whether anyone would really want to watch an RPG or not. I guess people could just tune in and out as and when. And then if someone asked me to fill them in on the story, I could do that. This is a weird looking level. Looks like the level just wasn't finished. Look how that texture there just disappears. It's a bit strange. I'm guessing, yeah. I was, I was just testing, guys. Seeing whether I could go in the water or not. Alright, let's go this way. Um, I mean, I played World of Warcraft back in college, uh, back in school, like 15 plus years ago at this point. 
but no, no, no experience that would be relevant today anyway. I try and stay away from MMOs because I know I would get too sucked in and then I wouldn't play anything on my backlog, ever. Yeah, they're like, um, Dekus. Do you think they ripped them off? I think Ocarina of Time came out first. Oh no, I'm down to my last life. And I was complaining earlier that it was too easy. Wow, he runs so slow. Come on, run faster. Hmm, why can I not why can I not jump onto that? Right, where is it gonna restart me? It's not gonna restart me anywhere? Really? Very strange and very strange menu. Why is there an option for brightness if I can't touch it? Okay, guess we're guess we're starting again. I'll try and speed run it. Oh yeah, look at these these banjo kazooie style creatures. I think I've got a camera right now. Look, look at them googly eyes. I don't know what it is. A pile of poo or something. I think, yeah, you can. You can break them. I don't think you get anything for doing that, though. Anyway, let's see if we can quickly rush through these levels again and get back to where we were before. I'm not giving up that easily. That is very uh, Crash Bandicoot, those things coming down from half pipes. Random spiky balls. So as we were talking about backlogs earlier, what are some games on your guys and girls' backlogs that you want to try and complete soon? Or ones that you've been meaning to play for a long time but you've never had the chance? Or games that you keep being put off because they seem too daunting, I guess? I think that's the main reason I don't play a lot of games is because I think, oh, I really want to play that, but the amount of time it's going to take me, and with new stuff coming out all the time, it makes it really difficult. How are you supposed to go back and play anything else? I think game companies just need to agree to just take a year off. No new releases for an entire year. Give everyone a chance to catch up. Ah! Currently playing Cyberpunk and RDR 2. Cool. Studying coding as well. Good luck. How's it going so far? It took me a long time to understand coding, so... Good luck to you. Finished Rayman. Never finished Rayman in advance as a kid, so I got that on the list. And started playing Survival Kids. Oh, cool. Survival Kids is a game that's on my backlog. That's one that I always think I want to play. What do you think of it? Are you enjoying it? So far. Ah, oh, I forgot to put a checkpoint down and then I'm all the way back at the start of the game. Hilariously dark. Is it related to the um, Lost in Blue games on the DS? I played the first two of them and I thought they were really good. I think it's by the same team. Hmm, it might be anyway. It's definitely the same premise, I know that much for sure. Started this fall in in JavaScript and React. Awesome, good luck to you. JavaScript's a nice easy one to learn. It's a good starting point. Ah! When I was learning programming, the first language I learned was ActionScript. That dates me. For Flash, back when it was owned by Macromedia. Ah! 
I don't like these platforms disappearing. Where's the other one? Come on! Let's just put a checkpoint down. Just in case. I don't like the combat. You can't tell how close you are to the enemies. I'm not really sure what the difference is between a punch and a kick either. They both seem to do the same amount of damage. And they both seem to uh, reach the same distance as well. Ow. I need these coins for some unknown reason. To get an extra life, I guess, when you get 100. That's generally the rule with these games. Why can't I run that fast all the time? Hey, it made another one, did it? I can't believe there was no sort of save whatsoever and it took me right back to the start of the game. Okay, we're on level two, we've got four lives. Yeah, you'd think by the year 2000 they would have put some sort of saving system. Unless you're meant to manually save. What options do we have here? No, that's just the same as before. Yeah, that is weird. Especially for a PC release. Yeah, maybe it's a secret roguelike. Just without all the... Oh, why is there nothing there? Oh, do I have to destroy that? Just without randomly generated areas. They kind of feel a bit randomly generated though. There isn't really much design thought process put into this level at least. Got the flag. Random floating platforms. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Chameleon Twist game that I mentioned in my N64 video recently. That had a lot of weird little floating island platforms for you to jump across. I do not like the combat. I hope that's something they improved in the second one. I hate not being able to tell how far away I am from an enemy. I'll be really interested to play the new one as well to see how much of the sort of design they kept from these older games. It looks really nice from what I've seen, the graphics look really nice. And it's cool that they've managed to keep the character around for so long too. Uh, can I get over there? Because apparently this is just a small Polish indie game studio. Oh no. Oh, did I literally just go in and then leave it straight away? Damn it. Okay, well I missed out on all those bonuses, but never mind. Let's keep going. Should I put another checkpoint down? I can't remember what's on the other side here. I think I'm safe. For a little bit longer. Oh, I didn't know it put those platforms up on the inside as well. There we go. Is, this, is the level complete or do we go to the... Oh, the hand guiding bit is the next level. Okay. Well, I know how to do that bit now, so I can do that all in one go. <sighs> After I've had a good stretch, I've been sat here all day at work. That's the problem with working from home, you don't get to go anywhere. No change of scenery or anything. Although, don't worry, this doesn't feel like work. Although, maybe one day it will become work. In a good way. Possibly. Look at me now, I'm a pro. And slow down, get through that gap. Ah, that was scary. Okay, we can speed back up again now. 
I need to worry about the uh, lava bits coming up through the floor as well. I didn't realise they hurt you. Look at that! Pro gamer skills! Made it all the way to the end in one go. Oh yeah! Definitely sounds like Croc. Maybe I should play through the Croc games one day. That might be uh, an interesting video idea. I don't know what happened then. Just got a random ice cube. Oh, it froze the enemies. Cool. That's what it was for. I'll throw my fist at him. There you go. You can see what that did. Now, I remember what order to do these in. It is that one. And... This one. Didn't even need to look at the sign. <clears throat> and then if I come down here and put the checkpoint down. Now watch me do this bit all in one go this time. Uh, don't look! Don't look! Uh, okay. Maybe you have to jump over that gate. So maybe there's not enough room to move by going around it. Oh uh, yeah. I'm not sure what that question mark does then. I thought it made me move faster. But maybe not. Uh, uh, oh, come on! That was so close! Ah, damn it. I don't know whether jumping and doing that makes you actually move a little bit faster as well. Or just jumping in general makes you move faster. Maybe. Maybe I'll try going through it like this. I think it is making me go a bit faster. Oh, I almost jumped wrong then. <laughs> the soundtrack's a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. If you were locked up in a room with this music playing, that'd be torture. And it doesn't fit the level at all. Like, what, what notes were they given when they were told to come up with a song? Right, so you're in a cavern. There's a uh, spiky log that follows you. Okay, yeah, I got the perfect thing. Annoying circus music. I feel like I'm going insane. Let's get this level finished. Yay, we did it. We've got five lives left. Oh, thank God. I'm going to have another drink now. Oh, Infinity for the Game Boy Color just posted an update on Twitter. Is anyone looking forward to that? Infinity. It was a long lost RPG for the Game Boy Color that's getting uh, re released. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit so you can see it. They posted some new screenshots recently. It looks really nice. I put them new, new environments. They've really improved the uh, the artwork compared to what it used to look like. There's a box art. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, have a look. It was on Kickstarter a while ago, and they they post updates on Twitter as well. So just have a look at Infinity GBC. It was originally meant to come out in the '90s, but the uh, the company couldn't find a publisher, I think, so they had to stop development on it. At least I think that was the case. Look at me go. Now I know what to do. Kill the Deku Scrubs. Or not, they're not called Deku, Deku Scrubs, are they? Deku Scrubs are the ones that come out of the ground that you have to use the shield against. Right, I'm putting a checkpoint down because this is where I kept dying. Hey, made it first time. And now we're going into the weird wavy walls, are we? Okay, you can break them down. <gasps> Look who it is! It's the great mighty Pooh! 
What are you doing here? <clears throat> yeah, this music's a little bit more subdued. I have no idea what they were thinking with that last track. This one just sounds really basic. Oh, I can just keep standing on these. Do I need to get all the coins? I guess not. I wonder if destroying all these googly-eyed things actually does anything. Doesn't seem to, but maybe there's something hidden that you get for killing them. Maybe. Hey, we're back outside. I love the really low resolution. Can I turn the camera around? Come on. Let's go here and use the look mode. Look at that background. Look at those pixels. That's insanely low resolution. I love it. Kind of reminds me of like a Nights into Dreams background or something. Obviously on the Dreamcast. You wouldn't have been able to see it that clearly. Ah! Uh, ow! What is this, Mega Man? Oh, we've got some really squeaky seesaw things. Uh, oh my god, I did that so badly. Let me out. Should I put another checkpoint down? I need some health. I'm going to put another checkpoint down, just in case. I feel like I need it. Come on, there's got to be health hiding somewhere. Minecraft land. Before Minecraft was even a dream in Notch's mind. Maybe he played this and that's where the inspiration came from. Imagine if Minecraft was made because someone played KO the Kangaroo. Whee. I guess you can just avoid all the enemies. They don't really seem to drop anything. I would like some more health though, please. Here we go, we're back in Minecraft land. And the camera doesn't know what to do with itself. Danger of death. Okay, that boulder up there is going to come and chase us. Are you ready? I'll use my jump in speed run technique. I guess that makes sense. Kangaroos are good at jumping. No! No! That's not fair. That should not have hurt me. I was inside that alcove. That's not fair. I was right to put that checkpoint down there. No! I jumped over you. Die. I can definitely see that if you played this as a kid, you would have really fond memories of it, because it is really good. I Well, maybe really good pushing it a bit, but it is a competent 3D platformer at a time when there were many 3D platformers that were less competent, to be polite about it. Basically, there was a lot of shovelware 3D platformer games after Crash and Mario 64. But this is definitely one of the better ones, I would say. Right, is this bridge going to collapse? Uh-oh. That's extreme! I feel like they just found that fire effect and they're like, hey, we need to use that somewhere. Is it going to do it here as well? No? Apparently that bridge is not flammable. Do you like how the leaves are just floating above the floor as well? Oh no! Not sure how to get up there. If you were eight, it would be really good. Yeah, definitely. If I played this as an eight year old, I would have very fond memories of it, I think. So I can't really. I can't really critique it with an adult mind, because it's not really made for adults, is it? So. 
you have to be a little bit lenient with these sort of things. I'm kind of sad I didn't have this as a kid. Although I had croc, which is basically the same thing. Although croc's a little bit more complicated because there's a lot of having to find all the different colored gems and stuff. Whereas this game is just start at the beginning and get to the end of the level. Patiently wait here for that to blow up. Yay! It was worth dying because I managed to come back and get that last coin. Do you guys know any other 3D platformers from around this era that you think I should check out? Maybe on the Dreamcast or the N64 or PS1? There was a very similar game that I got for the Dreamcast that I haven't really played yet called Super, Ma Super Magnetic Neo, which was also kind of a Crash Bandicoot clone, which also looks kind of competent. Maybe I should check that one out at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mario and Spyro. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people would only have had the the more common games. But there's definitely a lot of interesting ones out there if you, if you look around. Like Super Magnetic Neo. Hey, I got an extra life. Yay. I think I did. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of Chameleon Twist. I love them games. There's two of them and they're both really good. Am I supposed to turn the electric off by destroying this one? Yeah, clever. The Chameleon Twist games are really fun. The controls definitely take a bit of getting used to though. I love the this really weird atmosphere to this game. Like Everything kind of looks normal, but then you have everything's just floating in the sky. It's a really interesting um, environment. There was there was no story, by the way. As soon as I pressed play, it just took me straight into the game. Uh, okay, destroy all the Deku plants, I guess. Can I just walk around like that? Okay, that works. Now this definitely feels like a late 90s PC game, this section does. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Is there actually anything to do here? Am I actually doing anything? Oh yeah, I've heard really good things about the Bomberman Hero game. I haven't... Oh, I hate this. How are you supposed to know whether you're going to hit them or whether they're going to hit you? Um, I've never played Bomberman Hero, I've only actually played Bomberman 64. So that's something that I should definitely try and check out in the future. Was there a Bomberman Hero 2 as well? What am I supposed to be doing here? I think they're just coming back. Oh. Okay, I'm not supposed to be destroying the plants, I'm supposed to be destroying the pillars around the plants. Okay. It's a shame they didn't make any Bomberman games like that afterwards. That would be really cool. There was Bomberman Generations on the GameCube, but I think that's more of an RPG style game. I enjoyed Bomberman Tournament on the Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, the DS one's not very good. There was a lot of Bomberman games for the DS. I feel like they melt that franchise to death. One of the Bomberman games was good on the DS, at least in multiplayer. I remember playing one of them a lot. Back at uni. I think it was just whatever the first Bomberman game was that came out for it. Have I taken them all out? 
I don't know whether this level tells me when I've finished or not. Uh, the new one on the Switch is kind of basic. If you're on about Bomberman R, I think that's the most recent one. Uh, 437. Oh, okay. It's just restarted me, but it's not got any coins in the things. Right, let's leave that. I'm not going to waste all my lives doing that. Let's go back down here. Let's carry this level on properly. Whoa, whoa, that's not fair. Oh, what? Okay, cool. Got a snowboard in section. That was unexpected. Is there going to be another instant death trap down here? Oh, I got another life. That's good. It's a rainbow ride. Or whatever the secret rainbow course is in Peach's Castle. Ah! Have I played Cruising Blast? Yeah, I love Cruising Blast. Great game. I actually 100% completed it. I got all the unlockables and gold cups on all the races. I loved it. I really hope Raw Thrills does more arcade conversions. People think it's really simple, but there's actually some depth to the mechanics that you don't really pick up on straight away. Uh, oh, I just realised I can't jump or do anything on this section, so I need to be a little bit careful. Oh, slow down! Oh my god, that was close. No, I missed some coins. I missed all three of them. Can we get all these? Okay, we missed one. We need more arcade races in general. Yeah, I saw that Lego racing game. It looks really good. From, well, from the trailer I saw anyway. So maybe I'll pick that up soon. Is it coming out on the Switch as well, or should I get it on PS5? I've been wanting a new racing game since, uh, since I played the new Need for Speed. Which was actually surprisingly good. Need for Speed Un Unbounded? Unbound? I think it was called. Really enjoyed it. I was very, very pleasantly surprised by it. Although it did get a little bit samey, because you revisit the same courses later on in the game. But, you know, the first time round, it was really good. And the fact that you have to do your car up from scratch as well is always fun. Right, let's do my constant jumping trick to run away from all these things. I have no idea how you meant to get all the coins here. I like Burnout Paradise, but I don't think I like it as much as the older Burnout games, like Burnout 2 and 3. I didn't like the fact that when you go into a race, it doesn't close anything off. So you end up spending more time looking at the map than actually focusing on the race. But I do love the game. I mean, I've completed it like three times on various systems over the years. And I've been tempted to get it again on the Switch actually, so... I definitely don't think it's a bad game. But I would much rather they did sort of a burnout compilation with like... 1, 2 and 3 on or something, that'd be cool. I wasn't really a fan of the ones that came after 3 as much. They all felt a bit samey. Yeah, I do enjoy I do enjoy the free roam. But I don't really enjoy how they added the races to it, if that makes sense. Like the races themselves I prefer in two and three. Does that make any sense? I also really enjoyed uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit that was kind of similar to Burnout Paradise that Criterion made after. Not sure what's going on here. Don't get in the way of the sharks. Okay. Maybe we should put a checkpoint down just in case. Is it going to come back 
though. Oh, okay. They only come out if you go past. In that case, I just won't come past. I think that's the end of the level anyway. Alright, we're moving on. We've got a boss fight. Do I uh, get him to stand underneath that? Okay, this is the most janky boss fight ever. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Maybe they just should have stuck with the 3D platforming. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. I mean, it works. But it's not pretty. And what is up with this music again? Why is the music so weird? <laughs> we did it. Uh, I get it. It's a boxing ring. Oh, do I need to worry about dynamite? Got another checkpoint. I'm always constantly worried about running out of lives now, because I know there's no save system. I don't know how they expected an eight-year-old to complete this game. Let's go and get that boxing glove. Oh no! Ah, maybe I just shouldn't have bothered trying to get it. Can I go that way? Ah, you really don't get much reach with the jumps. Okay, those platforms blow up, the ones with the dynamite on. Okay, I'm not going back to get the boxing glove. I'm not wasting all my lives. Oh, got one anyway. Okay. Why does this remind me of a Mario Kart level? Loads of coins, woo! I'm going to go and get the other ones as well. I need an extra life. Have a boxing glove. I don't like their enemies. I'll take them out from a distance if I can. Oh, I didn't know there was fall damage. Yeah, you know the level I mean? The one where you go into the cave and you have to dodge the penguins. Risk it. Okay. Yay! That one wasn't as hard to get to. Oh. Why does everyone have long range attacks when I don't? It's not fair. Why is everything out to kill me? What did I do to that snowman? Oh, why did it miss? That's not fair. I've never seen the boxing glove miss before. Give me a heart, give me a heart. Come on. Oh, sure. An extra life will do. Can I take him out from there? No, I need another boxing glove. Extra life, yay. Is there something over? Oh! Is the platform going down? Oh no! Oh no! Come back up! Come back up! I didn't know the platforms would go down if I was still on them. Okay, I missed a coin. Never mind. Oh no, I haven't got any boxing gloves left! I'm just going to go around him. Hey, that worked. Is it going to collapse on me? Oh, surprisingly not. Okay. Ow! Get off! Oh, no, really? And I didn't put a checkpoint down either. 
Ah, right back to the start of the game. That's the downfall to this game. It's so unforgiving. I suppose kids don't really care about replaying levels, so do I? They have unlimited time and patience. I like this music, it's quite relaxing. There's a secret boxing glove over there, haven't we? Oh, that's the start of the level. Okay. I'm just on the other side of it. I'm not risking that boxing glove. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh, no! I just stood up and fell off. Maybe I should put a checkpoint down. I've got three. I don't know how you're supposed to attack them enemies from a distance. I guess by picking up a boxing glove. Or just hope that they don't attack you, apparently. Apparently that works. Can I get him? No! I can't get him. They're just troll enemies. Right, I am ignoring you. Uh, I don't think I can ignore you. Wait, can you jump on enemies? No. I thought I just jumped on him and killed him, but apparently not. That would have made that a lot easier. I can't believe I've lost all my lives on this level. There's still so many more levels to... Ah, there's still so many more levels to go! And why is there no double jump? Alright, I am putting down a checkpoint this time. At some point. I think maybe the tail whip reaches slightly further. Maybe. Let's try it on this guy. Who knows? Maybe. Neither of them really seem to do anything. Right, after this section, I'm putting a checkpoint down because I've only got one life left and I don't want to waste it going back here again. And then after that, we can check out the second game. Which is quite different, apparently. It's a lot more like a more modern 3D platformer. And I don't think I'll be able to play the third one on this stream because it doesn't have a windowed mode and I've actually only got one monitor. So if I play that one, it will end up going full screen and I won't be able to see the chat. So I need to get a second monitor first. I mean, I have one, but as you can see, it's behind me, so that's that's not much good. I need to get, like, a little portable one that can go on the desk in front of me. Or up on the wall or something. Oh yeah, put that point down. I don't know how you're supposed to attack enemies. Do I go that way? Let's try it. Ah, oh, no, not if I do that. If you attack, you can't grab onto the ledge. At least it doesn't seem like you can. What? Ah, oh, that's not fair. I should have been close enough to grab onto that ledge then. I can't believe there's no continue whatsoever. That's... That's crazy. I'm not going back to the start of the game again. Alright, that was KO the, KO the Kangaroo number one. And now let's close that and boot up the...